Good morning, children. Uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, max effort day. Got a sliver in my foot. Uh. Now, the next match isn't confirmed, but in preparation of it, we're starting to do some low pulley work on max day. We haven't seen that. The table's also set up diagonal. Big fat wrist wrench again. It's max day. We're still in that week after a big match, so it's still kind of just a farting around week. Um, <laughs> 20 pounds. <laughs> That's where we're starting the weight. <laughs> Haven't done any of these for a while. <laughs> and I guess you kind of forget, but the thought was start with your hand about pin pad height, and we're just trying to, you know, Dig an arm out of the losing position. Say somebody, say some real good fast hooker knocked you into a losing position. We obviously would not want to plan on pulling from the, but if you're caught in a position like that, it's better to have some preparation and some coordination there rather than trying to figure out when it's too late. 30 pounds. Please, please, hold your applause. I know 30 pounds is a lot. All alone today, it started getting colder here. The dog still hasn't woken up. I got up, turned the lights on, stepped over her, filled her dog bowl. She's still up in bed sleeping. This isn't so much a bicep curl as you're still just locking your arm and prying out. In reality, if you're caught in this position, instead of trying to dig that arm out like that, you would probably flop the wrist down. Let me start a little more. You'd probably flop the wrist down to get some added height on your arm and then try to lift with your hand down. Maybe they get, maybe you'd slip out, but we're not doing that in the gym. So we're actually trying to keep the wrist flat and uh, just pry the arm up. A lot of strain on the elbow, but a lot of the force is coming out of the shoulder. Um, better to not be in this position. But it's also better to never be lost in the woods. But if you're lost in the woods, it'd be nice to have a compass. I've actually already done most of these weights. Yeah. Offline before you guys are here. You watch the RVJ Sasho match. I bet your bet RVJ's wishing he would have had some coordination in that position, huh? <laughs> but if we're starting at 20 pounds, you can just about guess where you think the max effort is going to be, where we're going to start. That's 40. All right. Let's try 50. I'm all 
also stretched out more than normally be, but that's just because I don't want those buckles ripping my table apart. This table's been tore because that cable run up on it. So I'm actually more stretched out than what you would be in an action. But we're not simulating arm wrestling, we're approximating it. Might have been uh, misleading. 60 pounds. This exercise will be clear when I do the workout layout. Ooh, the workout layout which is coming soon. I just got to download some more software on my computer. I have a hard time making charts on my computer because I don't have any software. <sighs> I think we started too low now. Early this morning when I was warming up, that 40 seemed almost impossible, but now, I guess when you have this many birthdays, it takes a long time to get that diesel engine warmed up, huh? It's also cold enough now that I come down here wearing a hoodie and sweatpants, but after warming up, I I lose the hoodie. And there's a ceramic heater in the corner. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. Wow. I mean, it's like a switch, man. All of a sudden, it's like, nope. Was an expected man. How many days till it's over, my friends? Till it's over, my friends. Come on. All right, seventy. Boy, it'd be sweet if we could hit a hundred pounds. Hundred pounds just seems to be a nice round. Number. Then, it, then you can just tell everybody, man, you need a hundred pounds in all your lifts. But if, six, if, I, if the left stops at sixty, the right ain't hitting seventy. If they ain't that, they're not that far apart. Especially after pulling on Saturday. Ah. that cable hit that table that was probably worth an extra 200 pounds <sighs> so do we go to 55 on the left or do we try 60 again 
I mean, was that a legitimate failure? Did it just seem heavy and I got scared? Let's assume I just got scared. Let's try 60 again. It came up though, it came up easily 30 millimeters. All right, we're gonna drop down on the left. Wow, the left and right are really far apart on this. Uh, counting days till it's over, my friends. Eighty pounds. Man, we have to develop goals for this lift. This lift's pretty low, but good to find gaping holes in your fence before the sheep ball run out, eh? All right, so we got some fence repairing to do. 55 on the left. Counting days till it's over, my friends. Over, my friends, come along. Sixty, so at least I know I should be able to blood get this moving. <laughs> Couldn't stabilize it with my hand. Holy smoke! Try 75 on the right. Uh.
lifted it, but I think I stretched it a little. Ooh, we're going to let that go. Uh, we'll leave it there. It's, we'll consider 70 the match. So, 55 on the left, 70 on the right. It's uh, interesting. It's good to find holes in the fence. Alright, let's do some wrist work. The trick is, is, where do we start the wrist work at? 40 seam power. Let's try 20. Thirty days till it's over, my friends, till it's over, my friends, come on. Crazy easy. I know where I never know where to start the wrist work at. Twenty by twenty. Let's do thirty. start pushing the hand volume up. I think I have a top roller match coming in the future. All this stuff will come up fast though. I, I mean, I haven't done this stuff for a long, long time. Wondering if we just set a rule that we do the wrist work at half the weight of your max effort work just to save time. There's probably an algorithm there.
Well, we'll find out. This is 40 pounds. Drops in a hurry from twenty to five. We should call this practical wrist work. It's wrist work in a practical application. Instead of just resting the grab on a skinny barbell, resting your arms on your knees, which approximates no arm wrestling move ever. Practical wrist work, I like that. Louis Simmons would like that. No, he'd call it something else like practical auxiliary tertiary associative dynamicism or something. Huh. Man, it was freezing down here this morning. Do the reverse. We're gonna drop down to 20 again. I'll leave the table where it is. Drop the weight to 20. I'm still not sure about how good these things work. No! <laughs> I know I can't pick it. 20 pounds. Whew. All right. 10 pounds. Amazing how difficult that is with only 10 pounds on it. But 10 pounds by 10. 
Cross out the 20 I wrote down in ink. sure it was a whole five. set. good when those numbers come up. Those numbers will probably come up fast. Alright, that's it. <sighs> okay. Thanks for joining me. Go do something nice. Hey, walking around the grocery store eating grapes you haven't paid for is stealing. You might not think eating half a dozen grapes out of your $200 grocery bill is a lot, but little kids see you doing that and they think they're Entitled to go grab a handful of candy out of the bulk candy bin. Alright, so it's not that the fact that you're eating grapes. It's the fact that little kids see you eating stuff you haven't paid for. Help those little kids out, man. Set a good example. Anyways, come back. Uh, Thursday morning. What's Thursday morning? Ooh, we're changing pull-ups into rows. Come back Thursday morning. Love y'all. Bye now.